One of the Internet's founding fathers, Vint Cerf, shares his thoughts on living in the information age in a special segment we call Surf's Up. Today, the Surf's Up on design. Design is a really interesting process because it starts out often with a single individual thinking about a problem and trying to figure out how to solve it. A design is a way of solving problems. A design may be a way of expressing an idea, like with a painting or with a musical uh, uh, composition. But in the network world, design has become something even richer because it's now possible to um, use the network to pull information from a variety of different sources in order to compose a design. And that design work may actually be done by groups of people interacting with each other, analyzing various aspects of the design and how it solves the problem, or the design and how it expresses an idea. So in this networked world, we've got computing tools that actually help us do design. You hear about computer-aided design, or, or uh, CAD, or CAD. That is becoming a very, very natural way in which to perform design. Now we have the ability to do computations to help us figure out whether our designs actually solve the problem that we're trying to work on. Over time, as we get more and more powerful computers and more information on the network that's available in computer manipulable form, we may have computers becoming partners with us, not just fancy pencils, but actually devices that help us think through the solution to a problem, maybe look at variations and uh, alternatives or look at extreme conditions that we can subject our design to to see whether or not it actually holds up. So let's talk a little bit about a program that uh, Google has been using recently called SketchUp. Uh, it's been used in one uh, respect to place objects, three-dimensional objects, into three-dimensional space on the surface of the Earth so that we can superimpose on top of our images of the Earth buildings or other constructions that, uh, that people can now actually visit. They can see them from the outside and with enough software and uh, hardware you can actually go inside and look at these various uh, constructs. So SketchUp is a way of creating a virtual environment for people to either in interact with or at least to understand ideas that otherwise might be hard for people to, uh, to read. It's the difference between looking at a blueprint which is a very flat kind of expression, to looking at a three-dimensional rendering that you can actually wander around in. As time goes on, I expect we'll see richer and richer SketchUp-like environments so that you can create not only the framework of buildings, for example, but the things that are inside, maybe even objects that you can move from one place to another. So we'll see these sorts of computer-aided systems creating more and more elaborate virtual environments in which we can interact. 